Hello, Flat Earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. The reflection of the sun that we can often see as we watch the sun set across a large body of water shows us that we are watching a sun just get further away and staying at a consistent height above the surface rather than being on a spinning globe causing the sun to set. We can see here that the reflection of the sun begins quite close to us. It doesn't go all the way across the water, indicating that the sun really is not very far away. Between that more distant yacht and the horizon, we see what appears to be a small gap. We know that this can be several miles of water beyond that because uh, perspective makes that surface uh, get more and more compressed as it gets closer to the horizon. So we have this large expanse of water where the sun isn't reflected, yet the reflection comes all the way up to the shore. So let's compare this to lights that are physically close to the surface and lights that are actually above the surface. Here we can see buildings that are just above the water, they are actually there. And so the, the reflections of the lights from the buildings are right there and they don't extend any further. They are directly reflected in the water that is just below the buildings. Okay, so I'm gonna go across this bridge over here, we have lights on a bridge over there that are, um, obviously the bridge is above the water. So you can see that uh, the, the reflections from those lights that are above the water don't start until they get closer to us. Yeah, the reflections from the lights that are physically above the water are closer to us. So there's a gap, yeah, there's a gap uh, between the, 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 the bottoms of the reflections where they start and the actual lights which are above the water on that bridge, yeah? So compare that with the shot we saw just now where the buildings are actually on the water and those reflections start at the bottoms of those buildings. But when we look across uh, the sea at sunset, we see the reflection coming or starting uh, very close to us and coming right up to us, which is representative of, of this that we see here, where the lights are still high above the water but the reflections are closer to us. And we can see here that as the sun gets further away and appears to be closer to the horizon, it's no longer so strongly reflected in the water close to us. But uh, when we zoom in, we can often see the sun reflected in the more distant water, just showing us that the sun really is where it appears to be. It's just more distant and therefore appears closer to the surface. In my opinion, we are not necessarily looking at a ball or a disc of light. We are looking at perhaps a focal point of light which uh, is circular because of the human eye perspective. And as the sun is not necessarily a tangible object, it is just light. It is a very unique light that we have nothing to compare it to. We should also not be insisting that it shrink or change size dramatically as it gets further away. This coupled with the fact that uh, when we are low to the surface, the surface will cut off the sun at a very short distance from us before it has a chance to really uh, appear to get any smaller. So all that's really happening here is the sunlight has reached the limit of the distance that we can physically see, our vanishing point from our personal perspective near the surface. If we rise up, we will see the sun for slightly longer. We are not looking down any curve, we are just seeing further due to the laws of perspective. Thank you very much. <laughs>